Sorry to all my Ghanaians and brothers and sisters. I haven't been really, really following up about uh, the Ghana issues, politics, uh, trends, and everything. I'm so sorry, guys. Someone informed me yesterday and said, ah, why am I not even talking about the Ghanaians' uh, general election that is coming really, really, really soon? Well, honestly, honestly, I'm so, so sorry. Ghanaians, Ghanaians and Ghana, they are so, so important to Africa, and uh, you guys are really, really close to us. See us here. I can just walk into Ghana free of charge. So far, I have my money. No visa, nothing, nothing. We are all brothers and sisters, and you and, and and you guys can call me as well. You know, nice one. I'm very, very, uh, I'm very, very sorry for not paying attention. But then I took time to check, to check about your own political activities over there. Even me myself, for Nigeria, I don't really to say I'm not going for political matter again. Anything that trends, we talk about it. But when it comes to political election, my hands are off it. Because that situation is really, really frustrating. And it frustrated me and my life. <laughs> Nigeria politics frustrated my life. <laughs> the last general election. I cried. I laughed. I got hungry. I was happy. And my, you know, my mental capacity was, was tempered with. And I said, oh God, because of my, my, my health, because of my mental capacity, I have to just take clear away from Nigeria politics. Politics are meant for those people who have mind. But then again, I've been able to you know, educate myself and build myself on how to analyze issues with politics. So, so far, so good. I pick interest on one particular man. And the man is quite young. And the man behind the marks, his name is Nana Kwame Bendiako. Bendiako, if I'm pronouncing that well. Nana Kwame Bendiako. And according to the poll recently, this is the one of the poll that he posted that actually got my attention. The guy I, uh, with the new the new force, that's the party's name, well, it's kind of like favor to win against uh, NDC. NDC is uh, the, form, the present Ghanaian president, uh, president uh, political uh, party so if he lives there it's going to it might be possible that it's going to give it to this uh, this uh, candidate for ndc but so far so good guys this man on social media is leading the poll you know social media election is different from real life election and we witness it for sand in nigeria yes we witnessed it for sand in nigeria with Peter Obi Mata, Atiku and Tunubu. Peter Obi has more of the law from social media. But he actually pulled a lot of numbers though. Social media influence should be tempered with, should be underestimated. He actually pulled a lot of numbers. They will come out at the second, at the third, third position. And he is even saying that he's the person that won the election. They went to court twice, appeal and supreme. So, guys, we are looking at Ghana, and we hope Ghana do the right thing. Do the right thing. They shouldn't go to court. We want to see people, people voice being high. This one, this poll, the result is just a social media poll. The re-election is coming. So, and this man is a very, very young man. And you know one of all those things about young people again. Young people are not afraid to loot everything. That is my fear. That is my fear of young people. They are not afraid to loot everything. These old old men have some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of reserve, like they hold back a little bit. But young people, they are not afraid to loot, to loot everything. So I hope Ghana will get it right. And Ghana economy is quite good now compared to many economies there. Uh, economy in Nigeria. I've visited Ghana many times, and I'm hoping to visit really soon to catch up with some uh, some people. The economy is quite nice now. Hmm? Why are you why are you people complaining? Hmm? So Nana Kwame being Daku, the man behind the mask, might be the next Ghana president. If the old people allow it to be, you know, because 
is really, really hard, guys. I think it's extremely hard to see it happening. <laughs> Let's be honest. If we're honest with ourselves, though, I think it's extremely hard to see it happening. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Something, 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 something might just happen. And uh, man might be president. And again, when you will come down to Nigeria, talking about women, Three women who were given an appointment in Nigeria have succeeded almost destroying the good names of Nigerian women. Succeeded um, almost to destroying the good name of Nigerian women. Humanitarian minister, the one that was recently suspended, the former minister, and again, a member of, uh, I think, the, the, I don't know if it's a director or a head of uh, an agency under the humanitarian ministry that have looted a lot of money. <laughs> and these people, uh, they say, what a man can do, a woman can do is way, 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 way more better. And again, they have again justify that statement why is it that why can't you go 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 and uh, do the uh, do bricklayer work so that we can know that what a man can do a woman can do it better or go on and build roads so that we can know that or go on and uh, do some uh, create uh, some of those hard work that men does not uh, loot now try to loot and loot all our money away what the hell? These three women. However, able the present uh, one that was recently, recently uh, suspended by Tinubu. Her name is uh, Bita Idu. Guess what? The present vice governor of Lagos State is asking Nigeria to forgive her. According to him, he said she has learned, she will learn from her mistake. I don't know if it's a deliberate sabotage to this human image. I cannot speak on it, but Nigeria, we have suffered enough for any cobble to be looted. However, people are still looting on it. We have suffered and suffered and suffered enough. This humanitarian ministry, we do not understand the purpose of the ministry. The purpose of the ministry is simply to alleviate people from poverty. But yet again, whenever they say they are paying 200 million naira or 1 billion naira, paying 25, 25,000 naira to Nigerians, paying this one to Nigerians, we, don't, we do not usually see it. We keep asking ourselves, those people they are sharing money to, are they ghosts? At least now, they should be, I've said it before, I'm not saying they are not actually getting into it. See, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they are not actually getting such money. But I'm saying, at least in your community, in your village, someone close to your sister, a friend of your sister, a friend of your mother from another village, that person must have heard of somebody that he, she knows or he knows. Or the person he knows must have heard from another person that that person is collecting the money. But nobody yet. My own mother, I don't know. I've asked her several times. Mommy, do you have anybody? So, so any rumor that government are paying money to anybody, 5,000, 10,000, anything at all, from your village, from your sisters, or somebody you know from another village? My mom said no. I said, please, let me to ask. My mom said she had asked nobody. Then where are all those money going to? If such programs are initiated, how do people register to get this money? I don't understand. So is it humanitarian? Is it now becomes uh, a secret something that okay? You say you say it's humanitarian belongs to Nigeria, right? Why is it secret? Why is it not, not there's not a template on how people can register? Is it that you must get your national identification card to register on that humanitarian that you are? you are in a special needs or you have head offices in every branch of nigeria where every month at least once in a month or twice in a month you can pass you can drive by to carry a little pack of rice and a little pack of tomatoes 
None of that. I don't understand. I don't. I, I don't get it now. And yet they say billions are going and going and going and going and going. It's really, really. That being said, again, Minister of Interior leaked to humanitarian minister that was recently suspended. You know, an alleged four four hundred thirty eight million naira was transferred to an account to a company that this present minister of interior is a signatory to. Let me be honest, guys. The current minister of interior, that minister is trying. <laughs> so because he's one of those ministers that are really, really trying presently, that's giving us hope. Eh? I'm, I'm kind of like sketchy with my decision on the, with the way I view the whole matter when it concerns him. I'm, I'm kind of like sketchy about it, honestly. I'm really sketchy about it, guys. Now, guess what? The Northern Group Plans protest in Kaduna Abuja demand suspension of interior minister. As long as the Northern Group are now involved, man, I will fully support this man. But like, as long as Northern Group are now involved, because we know that group is biased, they know exactly what they are doing. So as long as now they are now involved, people are planning to protest. That, that means that man is doing something right. He's doing something right. And I'm going to support him there. 